to this show and we said, no way. No way, no way. No way, no way. No way, no way. No way, no way. <laughs> I think we're going to give you a taster from our new album. This is going to be a forthcoming single. It's called Stop. OK, so here it is. Thank you. 
Sabicono. To uh, sport your spice, Mel C at the end there. What is your best sporting achievement? Um, actually, I've got a really good one and it's really girl power as well. When I, <laughs> and actually, there's someone here who can confirm this as well. When I was 14, I was in this like high jump competition at school, you know, like school sports day. Hey! <laughs> and um, I beat all the girls like in high jump and then I have jumped all the boys as well. Did you jump <laughs> You know that we say that boys are smelly, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I can smell them. No. Yeah. no. Is that really horrible cheap I can. aftershave smell, isn't it? Emily? Yeah. No, no, no. You know what it is? It's that like dirty socks left in the like on the bathroom floor smell, isn't it? Farts. Yeah. Farting. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What? Do you know what it means? Dun dun dun. There's a baby! baby! Greasy chips and fish all over. Actually, oh, that, that was, was the good best one. job I've ever had. I think mean, everybody knows what I've done anyway. Game show host, 
That's she loved it. the fridge. Yeah, it <laughs> I think I think mine was I was either a brick or a bit of flour on um on the Halifax advert. <laughs> well, that's not that bad. <laughs> well, I'll I'll confess. I used to work for the new paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to right. say, out of everybody, I did actually have the worst job. There's um, a BBC production called uh, Body Matters. And, BBC um, Uni, yeah? And uh, I was a roller skating sperm. <laughs> All in my life. Hi, dear. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hiya. Hiya. I just think some worry me sometimes. And, and what worries me is what would happen if one of you fell ill? Or if you decided to get married and had a baby and you'd have to take some time out, you'd need somebody to step in, wouldn't you? Just <laughs> you'd be great. Well, so, you know, it just so happens that I've got some bits here I happen to have, you know, with me. I like your bag. Do you? Well, you bag. do have it yours. <laughs> now, don't go away. This won't take a minute, Tara. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. quick. like I've never needed all of <laughs> I wouldn't give up the morning job. We like that bit. We like that bit. There's one person we've always wanted to sing with. Janet Jackson got to sing with him, Mario Kerry got to sing with him, and now it's our chance. He is a man, but he is an, an exceptional man, and we are honoured and thrilled to welcome a Mr. Luther Vandross. <laughs> We're going to sing a song and we're going to really spice it up. And it is! This is really loose.
say a big, big thank you to Luther Vandross. That was a ton. <laughs> anyway, let's go and check out and see how those bad boys are getting on. <laughs> we want Ross's agent and we want Bradley's agent and we want my agent now. Now, what are they want to know? What are they want to know? Get back to it. Get back to it. I think you need a bit more girl power. Yeah. We need to send in the deadly weapon. Let's, Let's get Priscilla. 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 Oh, no. Priscilla get in there. Get in there. Oh. Get in
Thank you. Now, one of my all-time heroes was Fred Astaire, and I was lucky enough to meet him, and he was absolutely fantastic. So I just want to know, who are your heroes? Actually, we were really lucky. Um, recently, we was at the MTV Awards in New York, and we met an idol of mine, which is Madonna. And she actually said that she really liked our music, especially Mummy. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. See, it's exciting, really isn't nice. it? <laughs> Um, obviously, we met Prince Charles, and he's a very, very warm, friendly man, and I like a man with strong features. <laughs> um, I think mine has to be little Harry, but I'm, I am looking forward to meeting his brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, well, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Well, you asked who's left a big impression, and I have to say, I think David Beckham's probably left quite a big impression. Oh. Nelson Mandela was the one for me. Yeah. Because it's great to meet a man with that look and see so much for the people. Right, now it's a special moment because we've got a question from Richard and Judy's daughter. Chloe, where are you? Hi. Um, okay, what's the spiciest thing uh, you've done since becoming rock and roll stars? Mm. Are we rock and roll stars? Well, well, <laughs> yeah, you've got might not be in. quite rock and roll, but when we went to Nelson Mandela's house, you know, when you go to somebody's house like that, you just have to nick something. Well, we do. So we thought, we can't nick an ornament or anything like that, so we nicked the bog roll. And Emma nicked some pebbles out of the plant pot. And we kind of wrapped them all up and gave one each. So that's got only a rock and roll. Yeah. It's quite but made me laugh when I was like, ah. And we told him. We told him as well. And we've got we some extra laugh. ones if anybody wants a piece. <laughs> right, do you know what I know? So we've got some looky likeys in here. There's, um... Mel, Rusty Lee. <laughs> He's going to say that. <laughs> they are. See, look. Look at Larry. Look at him. Do you think he's going to And I saw somebody else. We've got um, Bonnie Langford. Oh. Who am I? Jerry. Ginger. Oh. And she did, you are now the fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> Missing Meg! <laughs> now, we've got a question. This is weird, this one. Andrea Coulson. Hi, girls. You're not related to, like, Andrea Coulson from the sun, are you? No, no. Uh, anyway, what's your question? They, they want to know um, what your greatest fantasies are. Ah, my greatest fantasy would be to get a, a journalist from a tabloid newspaper to, like, dress up look really ridiculous, make a complete fool of themselves just to appear on network telly, but... That's just a sexy girl up there. See how they're getting on. Shaping up very nicely. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Five, six, seven, eight. One. One. before it's called too much and it's going to be released at Christmas <laughs> Just as time. 
Well, now they're highly trained, we've restyled them, totally new image, they've been truly spiced. We'd like to <laughs> present to you the newly formed Spice Boys! <laughs> I don't want you being scarred by this, Chloe. It's fine. Explain everything later. It's fine. Are you ready? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Got Harry in the place, he likes it in your face. You got me, that's me, I'm a puppet, you see. Why, see, that's what my face. Hey, he gets a big, big thing. It's me, ah, oh, you see. Suck your body down and walk it all around. Suck your body down and zigga zigga, ah! Get Simon Ford on the phone, he's got a new group. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for coming. Now, we just hope that you've enjoyed tonight as much as we have and you lot have made tonight, actually. Yeah. One thing I'd like to say to all the fans watching and all the fans here is keep, keep with us, stick with us, because there's plenty more coming your way from the Spice Girls, believe yeah. me. Yeah. We'd also like to say a big thank you to everybody here. You've been a fantastic audience and we hope you've enjoyed it at home as well. But now, we're going to get up and we're going to party again because we're going to do Spice Up Your Life. Yeah!
on. Looks like I it. Think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <sighs> <sighs> hey, girls, you have done it again. <laughs> Yay! Yay!